Hi you guys, this is my second video in the Android tutorial series that I'm uh, currently uploading to uh, YouTube. Uh, most people when they get a new Android device, or any phone for that matter, want to customise it to make it personal to them. Uh, the most common customization, rather than uh, changing screens, widgets, uh, icons, etc., is to change the wallpaper. Now, many people, when they first get their Android device, may want a picture of their loved one, their children, girlfriend, wife, or a particular scene that they've taken with a camera on the device. The main problems that most people face uh, doing this are the cropping feature that's built into the Android device. And with this, I'll show you what I mean by the cropping feature. If I go into gallery and I uh, pick a photograph, uh, I'll turn it to landscape just to make it a bit bigger, and I want to set this photograph, and I want to use basically as much of this photograph as I can to be my wallpaper. Uh, so I click on it, and I click on more, and I go set, set as. So when you get to set as, you get a certain amount of options that pop up on the screen. Uh, Excuse me, I'll go back again. I clicked out of that, so set as. Right, at the bottom of the screen you'll notice wallpaper, but you'll notice set as wallpaper. Now the set as wallpaper is not a standard option that you get. I'll talk about that a bit more in uh, a minute. But you get the stock option to set it as wallpaper. Now what you get is a box that you can move around the screen, and once you go save it, it'll crop the picture to fit in the box. Now what it's basically trying to do has arranged the wallpaper so it will work in both landscape and in portrait and you'll notice in the centre there's a, a cross arrangement so one is portrait the other is landscape now you can spread this out and mess around with it but whichever way you do it you cannot get the full picture to set as your wallpaper so we'll exit out of that quickly and I'll pop along to the Play Store and show you the application you need to download so you need to download an application called Pick Speed HD Wallpapers. 170,000 wallpapers, and this all in high definition. I won't go into that too much. You can have a play around with it when you've downloaded it. So it's a normal app. Once you open it, it presents you with uh, loads of different options for wallpapers. Some fantastic wallpapers in there. They change daily. They're all free. The app's free. But just to show you what application you need, you need Pick Speed HD Wallpapers. Once you put that on your phone, automatically go back to your gallery. Uh, you've got your multiple pictures in there that you want to scan through. Now, again with this picture, we've got this PicSpeed editing, editing uh, software that comes with the PicSpeed. You don't have to use it if you're just picking a wallpaper off the actual application. <clears throat> but if you want to edit one of your own wallpapers, if I do the same thing again, if I click on More and I go Set As, now if I click on Set As Wallpaper, which is actually put in by the PicSpeed uh, wallpaper application. So if I click on that now, <clears throat> you can see we're presented with a different interface. Okay, there's a few adverts that pop up on the bottom, but it's not too intrusive. So you can basically can pick most of the picture you want to use as your wallpaper, or you've got customised different uh, options at the bottom. You can pick it all, so it'll it'll give you a 16.9 uh, ratio. What will happen if you use that option? As you turn it into uh, portrait, it'll crop the bottom and the top of the picture but it will scroll across all your screens to show the full picture. The best one to use is the 4.3 ratio and just click set and then go back to home and now you see that it's, it's taken that picture and it's set it as my main wallpaper and I can scroll across nearly all of the pictures there, slight bits taken off either side. You can save the whole thing if you want as a 16.9 picture but what it does, it puts a black band at the top and bottom which to be honest it would be useful if you're using white uh, icons like I have because they'll stand out so it might be quite useful. But that's the way to use your pictures out of the gallery without them messing around with the stock crop option that's in uh, Android. Uh, so it's quite a useful application, uh, download the application, you can use all your own pictures for your wallpaper and also any of the pictures that are included, 170,000 of them you can use as well. I hope this video has been useful, if you like it give me a like below and subscribe and I'll get more tutorials out for you in the near future.